Right then, hello and welcome back to Toka Race Driver 3. We're going to carry on now with the second and the last championship in tier number one. It's a global GT Lights. And let's have a look at the objectives for this one. Finish fourth or above in the championship, same as the Renault Clios. And we are given this lovely machine. It's not going to be that color though. I think ours is green and white. Um, two races of two laps again. Orton Park, Fosters and Brands Hatch Indy. And the race rules. It's a rolling start this time. And 20 cars on the grid, black, black and white flags, points go down to 20th with 1 point and 30 for a race win. And look at these lovely machines, 490 kilograms, so it's very, very light, 150 brake horsepower at 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. So, yeah, let's get on then with race number 1. Lovely, a couple of little tidbits for you there. As we head down Cascades. And then Nickerbrook. And then everyone goes really slow up through Clay Hill. Up here, everyone just sort of like bogs down, as you can see. We can really gain a lot of momentum. And then we go through the fast right-hander of Druids. And already gained right on the leader. And we should be able to take the lead. And we do quite easily, in fact. Lovely slide the ass end out. And one more lap to go. So yeah, exactly the same as the Clio's, this championship is pretty trivial. It's quite hard to lose, actually. Get over the little bump. And there we go, pulled out quite a nice little lead. Back through Deer Leap. And there we go, the first race is complete. And we get a lovely victory at the same time. I'm not going to get complacent, shut your face. Lap record, you've only gone and broken the lap record. Come here, I want to kiss you. <laughs> Ugh, get the hell away from me, you dirty old man. Anyway, so we get the victory by 1.2 seconds, and that means we get the 30 points for the race victory as we move on to Brandsatch Indy, starting in 11th. And off we go. And this is going to be a rinse and repeat. Just dive up the inside. And take a lot of positions going through Druids. Ooh. Little bit of oversteer. Excellent driving. Yeah, on. excellent indeed. Oh, they go so slow through clearways, it's really painful. Anyway, side by side for fourth place. This version of Brand Sash is very, very wide. Unlike real life, I've walked around a bit of this track and it is actually quite narrow. A lot narrower than this. And walking through Paddock Hill Bend, my god, you don't realise just how steep that hill is. Oh, it's going to be a drag race to the line. Where is he? Oh, oh no. 
Oh, that was so close. Almost got him at the line. Second place. Terrific driving, son. Aye, right, not too bad. That was very, very good. Look at that, by 0 0.04. Four one hundredths of a second. But we were tied on points, but this game does give us the victory if we are tied. So 55 points apiece between myself and Hain, but we win regardless. So impressive, you achieve your goal in the Global GT Lights Championship. Great drive. Thank you very much. So there we go, that is tier 1 completely done. We are 3% now progress through the main career. And this is where you guys come in. So vote which championship you want me to do next. It's either the Class B 4-wheel drive track challenge or the MG Team Rally Shield. So whatever gets the most votes, we'll do first. And then I will do the subsequent championships afterwards. So yeah, with that, I will leave it here for now. So thank you very much for watching as always. And I'll see you next time for tier number two. So thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.